Well, hello, Heart District friends. This is Ron Ippolito, and we just recently switched over from GroupWise to Gmail for our Heart District email. And so today I'm going to show you how to add uh, your Heart District email to your iPhone or other iOS device. If you have an iPad or an iPod Touch, uh, this is how you would do it. So uh, from your main screen or wherever you have your settings, you're going to go ahead and click on the settings icon. Once you get to your settings icon, you will choose Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. And then you want to head on down to Add Account. We're going to add our Heart District Gmail account uh, into our iPhone. You would then select Google as the, the choice here. Um, please note that if you're still using the uh, old iOS, if you haven't upgraded yet, uh, let's say you have an iPhone 4 or, you know, a, a 4 or 4S and you haven't yet upgraded, uh, this logo is probably going to say Gmail rather than Google. But in, uh, in iOS 6, in the newest operating system, you'll see Google there. Uh, go ahead at this point, you are going to put in all of your information. You should put in your first and last name as you wish for it to appear when you send other people email. Uh, your email address, make sure that you put your heart district, obviously, your heart district uh, email address. Make sure you don't put Gmail in there. Uh, so whatever your heart district email address is, your password. And then from my description, because I have two different Gmail accounts, uh, in my iPhone, I want to differentiate them. I want to know the difference, so I put Heart District Gmail in there. Uh, but you can go ahead and you can put in whatever description you want, but Heart District Gmail for me was easiest. Uh, next thing, next screen that's going to come up, it's going to ask you what, um, what services that you would like to connect to your iPhone from your Heart District Gmail account. Uh, I am using Google Calendar and obviously Gmail, so I have both of those turned on. Uh, the contacts I have left turned off because I use iCloud contacts for my phone. Uh, this is going to be different for different people, so, uh, but I go ahead and leave that off. And then uh, you'll go ahead and you'll leave notes off as well unless you, uh, if you sync your, if you'd like to sync your notes up uh, with your Gmail account, that you can, then you can, uh, but I think by default you would just leave that off. Uh, at this point, you're going to want to scroll down, uh, or actually flick. You want to flick your uh, your settings, uh, your mail contacts and calendar settings up, uh, because you want to... Right here is where you want to go. Uh, I wanted to direct your attention right here. The, uh, the default calendar. This is super, super important. If you use your iPhone calendar, you'll want to make sure that your default calendar is set to whatever Google Calendar you're going to be using. In this particular case, this one here is my personal, uh, it's my personal Gmail, uh, but you might be using your Heart District account. Uh, this is, again, this is one of those more advanced features, but this is really, really cool if you use Google Calendar or if you're going to start using it now that uh, the Heart District is on Gmail, you'll definitely want to make sure that this is set at your default calendar. If you don't, uh, you, excuse me, your Gmail calendar is set as your default calendar. If you don't do this, then what's going to happen is it will save all of your calendar events on your phone, but then it won't sync to anywhere. It's not going to sync to your Google Calendar if you're using Google Calendar. So uh, that's just something important to bear in mind. As an alternative, let's say that you don't want to use your, uh, your iPhone uh, email account uh, for, to connect with your Heart District, or let's say you want to, let's say you, you want to use that only for your personal mail and you want to keep it separate from your Heart District mail, uh, then another thing you can do is you can go to the App Store and you can download the Gmail app uh, from the App Store that is created by Google, so it's the official Gmail app, and then you can enter your, uh, your account information, your Heart District email address, and your password once you've downloaded the app, and then you can keep them separate so that your Heart District email is in a totally separate app from your personal email if you choose to do that. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me at ripolito at heartdistrict.org. And I hope you enjoy using Gmail uh, here in the William S. Hart Union High School District. Thanks. Have a great summer.